Hi, it's Mike. Let's get started with today's fresh new episode. Let's be real. When you hear Scorpion Lord, you're probably picturing something straight out of a nightmare, and honestly, you wouldn't be far off. In Black Myth Wukong, this menacing, poison-spewing boss is one of the most formidable adversaries you'll face, especially if you stumble into his lair in Chapter 4's secret area, Purple Cloud Mountain. Before we go in, let's set the stage. The Scorpion Lord isn't just a run-of-the-mill mini-boss you can breeze through. Nope. This guy brings heavy damage, poison-infused attacks, and more rage than a hangry scorpion at a picnic. But fear not. With some precise dodging, strategic use of spells, and a little patience, we'll have you squashing this arachnid in no time. So buckle up, grab your stained jade gourd, and let's get to it. If you are excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. Welcome to Purple Cloud Mountain, home of the Scorpion Lord. You'll encounter this charming fella in the secret area of Purple Cloud Mountain. To get there, you'll need to have defeated the Venom Taoist twice and make your way through the bounds of Deity's abode. You'll spot the Scorpion Lord chilling on top of a hut, probably contemplating his next victim. Break one of the pots in the area to trigger the fight. But here's a hot tip. Take on this boss before you tackle Duskveil. If you defeat Duskveil first, the Scorpion Lord will be forever locked away. And trust me, you want the rewards from this fight. Prep work. Bring the right tools. Before you throw yourself into battle, let's talk strategy. The Scorpion Lord doesn't mess around, so neither should you. One of the biggest hurdles is his poison-inflicting attacks, which can turn a long fight into a slow and painful death. To counter this, you'll want to come prepared with the right spells and upgrades. Let's start with Rock Solid. This trusty move will help you parry several of the Scorpion Lord's fast-paced attacks, especially the ones he likes to chain together. He attacks with lightning speed, so it's crucial to block and build up focus. Once you've got enough, unleash a devastating counterattack with Ebb and Flow Transformation. It'll not only keep you alive, but also give you a window to dish out some serious damage. Another pro tip, Umbral Abyss is your friend. Not only does it deal a fair amount of damage, but it can freeze the Scorpion Lord, giving you a much-needed breather. And don't forget about a pluck of many, this spell will create clones to keep the boss distracted while you plot your next move. Round 1. Know his moves. The fight kicks off with the Scorpion Lord doing what all great villains do showing off. He'll perform a spinning dodge backward before lunging at you. This is your cue to use Rock Solid to deflect the attack. Land a few light hits but don't get greedy because this boss recovers faster than you'd expect. He'll follow up with a spinning tail attack which you can dodge or jump over depending on your playstyle. Watch out for his spin attacks. He'll roll across the ground, tail whirling like a deadly top. You've got two choices here. Jump over the spins and land some blows during his aerial swipe, or roll through the spins and attack during the air swing. Either way, timing is key. Don't get caught mid-spin, or you'll be sent flying. Poison pools and burrow attacks. Dodge. Don't stop. As the fight progresses, the Scorpion Lord starts showing off some more toxic moves, literally. He'll stab his tail into the ground, creating pools of poison that will erupt beneath your feet. When this happens, immediately roll away from the area and avoid attacking until the poison bursts are done. Another of his more annoying attacks is his burrow move. When he disappears underground, you'll see rumbling under the ground. Move away and dodge when it gets close or he'll pop up and grab you faster than you can say, HELP! If you're worried about timing your dodge, consider transforming into another form transformations can't get grabbed, so it's a safe bet. Keep calm and avoid the claw flurry. Now this next move is particularly deadly. The Glowing Claw Flurry. When the Scorpion Lord's claw starts glowing and pointing downward, run. Seriously. This attack unleashes a ridiculously fast barrage of swipes that will tear through your health bar if you're caught in it. The safest way to deal with this is to dodge backward and sprint away. The attack doesn't travel far, so once you're out of range, you're golden. Mid-fight. Don't get caught in his combos. At this point, the Scorpion Lord will be throwing every combo in the book at you. Heavy claw swings, ground slams, tail slams, you name it, he's got it. When he winds up for a heavy swing, dodge backward to avoid getting clipped. After he's finished his combo, use that moment of recovery to go on the offensive with a few light attack strings. One particularly nasty combo involves the Scorpion Lord charging at you with his claw dragging across the ground. Right before he reaches you, dodge to either side to avoid the upward swing. 
If you get hit by this, it's game over for most players, so make sure you're on your toes. Final Phase When the going gets toxic, as the fight nears its end, the Scorpion Lord will up the ante by burrowing more frequently and leaving poisonous pools all over the place. This is where you'll want to bring out the big guns. Use a pluck of many and clones to distract him while you dish out the damage. And don't forget about Immobilize, a fully upgraded Immobilize spell can give you enough time to set up a combo that'll really make him regret ever being born. Keep an eye on your health, especially as the poison pools start popping up more often. The Stained Jade Gourd is perfect for this situation, as it significantly speeds up your drinking time when healing. This way, you're less vulnerable while topping up your health. Scorpion Lord Down. Rewards worth the struggle. Finally, after all that dodging, parrying, and praying, the Scorpion Lord will fall. And oh boy, are the rewards sweet. You'll receive the Sky Piercing Horn and Death Stinger for weapon crafting, as well as fine gold threads for upgrading your armor. But the real MVP of the loot pile is the Stained Jade Gourd. This bad boy makes drinking healing items much faster, which is going to be a lifesaver in future fights. So there you have it, folks. The Scorpion Lord may be tough, but with the right strategy and a bit of patience, you can send him scurrying back to whatever dark hole he came from. Stay sharp, keep your spells handy, and don't let the poison pools get the best of you. And hey, if you like this breakdown, don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more Black Myth Wukong tips and tricks. Happy hunting!